Ciao a tutti! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove your students once you archive them and you can create a new classroom. So I uh, just archived my classroom here. If I want to see my archive uh, students, I just need to click on the class roster. And here, let me just move myself here. It says archive and that is the name of the classroom I archived before. Um, so here we are done and now uh, the Epic book actually uh, created a copy of my old students just to make sure, you know, are you still uh, uh, reading with them? Are you still keeping an eye on them? If I actually don't need that because I have new students this year, so I'm going to delete them. To do so, I'm going to click on the little square here and then I'm going to click on remove students. And as you can see now, this is my new class. I have a new classroom code. I have just the guest students, and now I have to add my students. Since we uh, are not using Google Classroom anymore, I have to use this way. Uh, that is actually here. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to put the name, I mean the last name, and then I'm going to uh, go with the email. Here, actually, it's saying, for example, first name, last name of the students, and then it gives me the parent email. So either way, you can decide it to use the student email or the parent email. Um, if you create the parent email, actually, uh, they're going to get extra free access during this uh, remote learning period. So uh, this is just an example. I think my students are big enough to um, use their own email. So I'm going to go with it. And here it is. So once I have all my students, and I can just continue to write down here, you know, I just need email and so on. Um, once I'm ready, what is going to happen if I, I click on continue? This is what I'm going to see. The first name, the last name, and the parent email, or like the student email. Once I'm ready, um, I'm going to click on confirm. So to make sure it's my, the system is not going to go crazy, I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to just add the test students. And here it is. So now the test students is there. We have the uh, email, the uh, email there and I can send an invite. So I'm pretty sure that if I'm going to check, let me just do it actually. If I'm going to check the email here. I had received here a message from my teachers that says that I have my login instruction. And so this is what the students are going to get. Or if the students are too small and you prefer to send the invitation to the parents, this is the email that the parents go get and they are going to have all the information to enjoy, uh, join your classroom. Thank you.